All right, about to pull into the next driveway here. A little slippery. have two houses on this street and both these houses have a raised lip between the roadway and the beginning of the driveway so I mentioned this in a previous video I'll talk about it again get over up up over this lip angle your plow to the right till you hit raise it up and drop it back down it's the easiest way to clean as much snow as you can out of the driveway and that way you do or, uh, you don't really put any wear and tear on your plow or minimal wear and tear on your plow is what I was getting at a little tired like four in the morning now going with the town for 14 hours plowing and uh, doing my own accounts. It's been a long day. Get to the end of the driveway where I think the grass is just about to start. Raise the plow up a little bit and then keep pushing it forward. Well, you push the snow back. This lady needs to back up a little bit further than where the grass line is. She can do that without damaging her bumper. And we also provide more room for more snow in the future if that's what Mother Nature intends, but Mother Nature's been not that grateful to us plow guys this year. She must be a feminist. Ha ha, 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 ha. I thought it was funny. Part of the driveway is always tricky. As you can see, I'm trying to get as close as I can to the garage without, I think you can see that red plow marker on the right, which indicates the walkway, and I know those pavers go out into the driveway a little bit, so. It's tricky. Like you're kind of playing a risk reward game here closer you get to the house, less shoveling you're going to have to do, but on the flip side, closer you get to the house, higher the risks are of potentially hitting something, damaging that thing. So, As always, use your brain. Should have raised the plow up a little bit more before I run it into this pile. I can see the head, or well, a little bit of grass exposed, but it's not all torn up, so no damage there. All right, I'm gonna do this walkway, and that's it for this driveway. I want to conclude by saying these are the best types of driveways out there because you don't have to mess around with back dragging, just drop that plow and push everything forward. And then, if you get a couple neighbors, a couple houses like this on the same block, then you know you're not losing money in travel time. The more you keep that plow down, the more money you'll make. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.